Hi everyone. Today I want to talk with you about the most commonly asked question that is posed to me and that is how did you find it? How did you know? What were your symptoms? I am uh, really inspired to have this conversation with you uh, because last year I was chatting with a friend of mine sharing some of these symptoms and when we came into this year she was feeling a little run down and was dismissing it thinking that it was the end of year how we all get run down at the end of the year uh, but she remembered our conversation and because of that that propelled her to go to the doctor where sure enough she was uh, diagnosed with cancer but the early stages of cancer this is the beauty of this she listened to her body she went to the doctor she found it early enough she's already been in treatment and they've eradicated the cancer so that's amazing so number one listen to your body don't ignore yourself don't ignore what it's telling you while uh, we are chatting i am going to be uh, continuing to cook from the vietnamese home cooking book uh, if you're interested in uh, the recipes that i uh, am making the link to this book will be in the description underneath the video. Today I'm doing the caramelized lemongrass shrimp. It's a relatively easy recipe. Um, <laughs> I know most of you are going to say, sure, Nicole, relatively easy. That's what you do. Guaranteed that is, uh, that is true. Um, I would give you one piece of advice, I think, uh, to help minimize feeling overwhelmed when you're cooking and what I call chaos cooking. Uh, is to take a few minutes in advance before you get started and uh, make your prep list. Take everything from that recipe and, and get it ready so that it's just here for you so that you can enjoy the cooking part uh, without having to worry about like where something is or burning it while you're looking for it. For me personally, I need to do this uh, nowadays because I have chemo brain. If I don't uh, take a moment and set everything up so that I can go through it like a checklist, uh, I will most likely forget even the shrimp of the shrimp dish. <laughs> so uh, right now I'm sauteing some uh, shallots and I'm working with Thai chili peppers. Super hot. Uh, please always wash your hands when you work with chilies. And I'm just sharing this with you in case I start coughing. That is the reason why. Let's go back to remember I was diagnosed in uh, March of 2019. So Colon cancer has some, as you can imagine, it's colon cancer. So there are some very loud symptoms, right? You might have consistent colon blow. Uh, you might conversely have difficulty taking a shit. Uh, those are considered very loud uh, um, symptoms and it tells you something's wrong and obviously you go to the doctor. I unfortunately didn't have that. Um, I unfortunately had very silent uh, things and that's why it was able to creep up upon me uh, and be stage four before I even realized it. Number one, fatigue. Now this is very different than being tired. Uh, I, this, I've been tired for sure, right? This was uh, a body fatigue where you just, no matter how much you wanted to do something, you just couldn't, which is very unusual for me. I've been blessed with a very uh, healthy, active body. Um, so fatigue. Uh, I started to feel this and at first I was setting it aside just like everybody else does thinking I was too busy in life of course uh, I will get some more sleep uh, when time comes but as I would say in the fall of 2018 I started to really uh, notice that I was a little bit more tired uh, I started to notice that it just didn't feel to me uh, like I could catch up on sleep or something. It was a different type of tired. So, um, so we go into uh, January of 2019. Remember, I'm feeling fatigued, but everything else I'm pretty pretty good about it. I've been I'm going to a spin class every day. I'm very active, uh, and so just fatigue. That was it. Now, as I go into uh, January of 2019, we were dealing with some family things at the time. Um, my father-in-law, uh, he lost his life to cancer in 2019. So it makes sense to me that I uh, did dismiss some of that fatigue, just thinking that I was run down emotionally. 
Now, once I realized, uh, I think, you know, one of the biggest things, there was an alarm bell that went off for me uh, when I was in Canada for my father-in-law. Um, I am known as, uh, as the crazy aunt. Uh, I love being an aunt. God, I love being an aunt. And I've got two nephews in Canada, uh, Evan and Corbin. Uh, I always want to play with them and, and uh, wrestle and all of that kind of stuff. Well, they wanted to play with me, and I just couldn't. I, I couldn't. I would have welcomed the distraction, but I just couldn't. So that sent me home going to the doctor. Now, one of the things I would like to impress upon you is when you go to the doctor for your annual physical, you think that they are doing a whole panel of blood work. That is not actually true. Please, when you go to the doctor for your annual physical, make sure that they are running an entire panel. Uh, I'm throwing in some lemongrass. Mm, I love how that smells because a lot of insurance doesn't pay for it. So they don't do it. So they just do a basic blood run. That's what happened to me. My doctor didn't even check to see if my insurance would pay for it. And he just did a basic. So we didn't see any of the things that would have been alarm bells, such as my protein levels. So I'm having fatigue. I go to the doctor. We're starting to look at things. Uh, the other thing that I want to tell you is believe in yourself, advocate for yourself. My doctor did not find my cancer. I found my cancer. So I had fatigue. When I discovered that a full panel of blood wasn't run, I asked for that to be done. As soon as that was done, two things that went boom, boom, boom for me because I had been dealing with cancer as a caretaker. I kind of knew some of these things. My protein levels were off. That to me was like, oh, what's happening here? Also, my liver numbers were off. That was another thing that was like, hey, what's happening here, okay? So this goes back to advocating for yourself. Throwing in a little garlic, throwing in a little ginger. And one of the greatest things I love about Fan's uh, recipes, uh, he has a red chili paste uh, recipe that is so tasty. Has a little annatto seeds, if you've ever used that, it gives like orange color to your food. Um, I like to make this and just have a jar of it on hand at all times because I like it as a condiment uh, for my food. Uh, again, I might start coughing, so bear with me. All right, so advocate for yourself. I saw these blood numbers. I asked my doctor about it. We're still looking, sure, okay, he orders some tests. He orders a CT scan, he orders, uh, um, we talk about a colonoscopy, but it, to him it's not urgent. He orders it uh, for two months from now. Now every day I'm getting more tired. Every day I'm starting to now have symptoms where I walk up a flight of stairs and I'm out of breath at the top. Now that's when I said, all right, enough is enough. So I took my panel of blood work, all of my records, I went to a different doctor. I went to a lovely woman out in Oak Brook and as soon as I walked in, I put it in front of her and she said to me, do you have time for a CT scan this week? Do you have time for a colonoscopy this week? I said, yes, thank you. Thank you ever so much. This smells so good. This is, this is. It's another thing why I'm really enjoying cooking right now is because uh, I did get my sense of smell back. I had lost it during this past year, the uh, different chemo uh, regiments, and I know I'm gonna lose it again uh, as I'm back in chemo. So for this minute, for this moment, I'm enjoying uh, this recipe. So thankfully she heard me. She understood that although I was just feeling fatigued, something was wrong and I was scared and she heard me and she scheduled me for a CT scan. She scheduled me for a colonoscopy and uh, the poor woman, uh, she found it. She found my tumor and she had to tell me that I had stage four uh, cancer. So, so, Few things to recap. If you are fatigued, don't ignore it. Go to the doctor. Make sure that you have a full panel of blood run every time that you have an annual physical. If your insurance doesn't cover it, if you can find some way to scrape together enough money to have that done, look at your protein levels, look at your liver. That's how I discovered it. And then lastly, if you have not already had a colonoscopy, I don't care how old you are, if you are 40 or older, 
have a colonoscopy. I know insurances don't pay for it, but we have an epidemic happening in this country where colon cancer is running rampant. It's, it's absolutely insane, and we're not talking about it. So again, I really wish that you guys could be here for this because I am just about to pour in this lovely caramel sauce. And I know you think caramel sauce, what, shrimp, it's not that kind of caramel sauce, people. This is palm sugar and fish sauce. Fish sauce is made from essentially fermented salted uh, krillfish. Uh, don't knock it because it's the most beautiful flavor you can imagine. Anyways, I leave you with those thoughts. Fatigue, get a full blood panel, get a colonoscopy.